Let us see the RUTC uh, exit exam question part 1. Question number 1. What is the frequency of flag state inspection for cargo ships of 0 to 5 years of age? Option A. Every calendar year after 3 months of ship's safety certificate but before 3 months of the date of expiry of the same. Option B. One inspection between 1 to 3 months after the completion of the first complete intermediate statutory survey. Option C. Every year and between 1 to 3 months after the completion of annual intermediate and renewal survey as the case may be. Option D. None of the above. The right answer is option B. As per the uh, flag state rules, one inspection between one to three months after the completion of first complete intermediate statutory survey. Question number two. Which one of the listed requirements regarding the immersion suit do not correspond to the present regulation? The immersion suit is made of waterproof material and constructed such that Option A, it is provided with the arrangement to reduce the free air in the legs of the suit. Option B, it can be unpacked and donned without assistance within two minutes. Option C, it will have a sufficient built-in buoyancy to avoid the use of life jacket. Option D, it will cover the whole body with the exception of the face. The right answer is option C, it will have the sufficient built-in buoyancy to avoid the use of life jacket. The other three answers are the requirement as per the SOLAS. So, which is not correspond to the regulation is option C. Question number three. Surveyors can drink seawater in emergency. Option A, true. Option B, false. The answer is option B, false. As uh, drinking seawater uh, will increase the uh, dehydration induce vomiting so it is not advised to drink seawater question number four how many codes are there in oil record book option a five codes option b seven codes option c nine codes option d eleven codes the right answer is option c nine codes a b c d e f g h and i so uh, nine codes are there Question number 5. What water type extinguisher has to be turned upside down before operation? Option A true, option B false. The right answer is option B false. Because uh, water type extinguisher does not need to turn upside down. The only extinguisher we do upside down is chemical foam. So the right answer is option B. Question number 6. Which is not the detainable deficiency under SOLAS as per uh, port state control? Option A. Number composition or certification of crew not uh, corresponding with safe manning document. Option B. Absent substantial deterioration or failure of proper operation of the cargo deck area fire protection on tankers. Option C. A recognized case of insufficient stability option D all of the above the right answer is all of the above so all of the non compliance mentioned in a option a B and C uh, all are a detainable deficiency as per the port state control question number seven what is the purpose of uh, auto unloader in uh, compressor Option A, to unload the compressor while starting so that the starting load is reduced. Option B, to unload the compressor to release the pressure from the cylinder while being stopped. Option C, to act as a relief valve while running the maximum pressure is reached. Option D, all of the above. The right answer is all of the above because uh, an unloader is used to uh, reduce the uh, starting torque and starting current to release the pressure while during stoppage and act as a relief wall also. Question number 8. The 2014 amendments to MLC 2006 have entered into force on option A 18th January 2016, option B 
20th uh, June 2016, option C 18th January 2017, option D 18th January 2018. The right answer is option C 18th January 2017. It is about the financial security of the seafarers in case of abandonment of ship or due to any accidents the claim for the seafarers or financial claim for the seafarers that was the amendment of 2014 question number 9 maintenance schedule of sprinkler system option a weekly and yearly option b monthly option c quarterly the right answer is option b monthly as per the pms Question number 10. How long a Marpole bunker sample is to be retained on board? Option A, 6 months. Option B, 1 year. Option C, 2 years. Option D, till the oil is used. The correct answer is option B, 1 year. As per the regulations, it is. Question number 11. International organization which is responsible for regulating shipping is known as Option A, International Water Recorder, International Waters Controller, International Maritime Organization, International Hydrographic Organization. So, right answer is option C, International Maritime Organization. Question number 12, IMO Headquarter was in option A, Berlin, option B, London, option C, Sydney, option D, Tokyo. The right answer is option B, London. Question number 13. If a distress signal is received, what would you do? Uh, option A, post extra lookout. Option B, all of the alternatives together. Option C, contact search and rescue authorities via nearest coastal radio. Option D, try to make contact with the vessel in distress. So the right answer is so, uh, option B all of the alternatives together. Of course, uh, we have to do the uh, extra lookout, contact uh, search and rescue and to make contact with the vessel in distress. Question number 14. Which of the following is a disadvantage of water as cooling medium for pistons when compared to oil? Option A. Chemical treatment is required to prevent scale formation. Option B. High thermal stresses in piston. Option C, piston of more complicated design. Option D, all of the above. So the right answer is option D, all of the above. So compared to the oil cooled piston, uh, water has uh, above problems mentioned in option A, B and C. So the right answer is D. Question number 15. A class C fire would involve option A, combustible gas, option B, fuel oil, Option C, electrical insulation. Option D, wood. The right answer is combustible gas. So as per the uh, ISO standards, classification of fire, the class C fire involves uh, a flammable gaseous fire. So the right answer is option A. Question number 16. What is the minimum capacity of bunker sample bottle to be used as per the Marpole regulation? Option A, 200. Option B, 400. Option C, 600. Option D, 800. So the right answer is option B, 400 milliliters as per the Marpole regulation. Question number 17. What are the properties of fuel which can influence the ignition quality? Option A, carbon residue. Option B, cetane number. Option C, asphaltines. Option D, all of the above. The right answer is option D, all of the above. Because the ignition characteristics or quality will be affected by carbon residue, cetane number, and as well as asphaltines. So, option D is the right answer. Question number 18. Lifeboat engine should be able to start at. So, as per the SOLAS regulations, the right answer is option A, which is given here, minus 15 degrees Celsius within 2 minutes it has to be started. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 द लोकेशन ऑफ इमरजेंसी फायर पंप इन इंजन रूम ऑप्शन ए ट्रू ऑप्शन बी फॉल्स द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फॉल्स बिकॉज एज पर द सोलास रेगुलेशन द इमरजेंसी फायर पंप शुड बी इंस्टॉल्ड एनीवेयर इन द शिप आउटसाइड द मिशनरी स्पेसेस क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड शुड बी यूज्ड नियर पर्सनल इन कंफाइंड प्लेस ऑप्शन ए ट्रू ऑप्शन बी फॉल्स द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फॉल्स डेफिनेटली कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बीइंग एन एस्फिक्सिएटिंग एजेंट इट विल कॉज द ब्रीथिंग इश्यूज और डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीथिंग if the person is using this uh, co2 extinguisher in a confined place that means uh, there is no ventilation in that place so we cannot use the carbon dioxide extinguishers there question number 21 during drills what is the best method to communicate between team members option a hand signals option b talk in person option c communication is not necessary option d use walkie talkie the right answer is use walkie talkie because during the uh, drills uh, uh, different team members and be at different places maybe in the deck or in the engine room so the right way of communication and uh, best way of communication is using walkie talkies question number 22 within dash hours before departure the ship steering gear shall be checked and tested by the ship crew option a 24 hours option b 12 hours option c 8 hours option d 1 hour so again as per the uh, solas regulation the ship steering gear has to be checked and tested within 12 hours of departure so option b is the right answer what is the full form of a uh, seam so the answer is ship energy efficiency management plan so this is a requirement under the annex 6 of marpol convention question number 24 lifeboat should be able to be launched within dash minutes as per regulation the right answer is 3 minutes as per the regulation question number 25 which of the following a non governmental organization as observer status in imo option a iacs option b ilo option c uno option d uh, unesco so the right answer is option a iacs international association of classification societies so they have the observer status in the imo question number 26 carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen option a true option b false the right answer is option a true because uh, the carbon dioxide is the density of carbon dioxide is uh, more than that of the oxygen question number 27 when was the manila amendments adopted option a 2010 25 june option b 2012 option c 2017 option d 2020 the right answer is option a the manila amendment amend adopted on 2010 25th june question number 28 who is responsible for the non compliance of nox emission option a manufacturer option b ship operator option c flag state option d port state the right answer is option b ship operators question number 29 which class of fire wood belongs to option a class a option b class b option c class c option d class d and option e class k of course the right answer is option a class a that is uh, uh, wood paper all belong to class a of fire question number 30 which marpol amendment will come into force on 1st january 2021 option a annex 1 option b annex 2 option c annex 3 option d annex 4 the right answer is annex 
so this is uh, uh, about the regulation 13 control of discharges of noxious liquid substances to have a pre-wash that is for the chemical tankers